Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hi there, and this is G Forever. Yeah, we're here to review the new Godzilla Cute Bank and the Godzilla Deluxe Lanyard. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is very, very, very cute. Later on, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Funko Pop and compare it with this cute bank here, as well as taking a closer look at the lanyard. All right, so here we have the Godzilla Cute Bank uh, by Monogram. It's made of PVC. Um, probably can find it around $18, uh, give or take. And uh, he's primarily gray. Like you can see, there's a lot of gray on his body. Um, he does have like gray spines, um, but it's a different t uh, shade of gray. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's a little different. Uh, yeah. yeah, the shade of the spikes is a little different. A little more glossy to give it, you know, give it a uh, like a little different effect. Um, he does have like uh, yellow eyes uh, with a black pupil and then some white um, kind of like where the light reflects in the eyeballs. Um, he does have a big uh, pink mouth and tongue um, and then uh, white teeth and uh, white claws. Yeah, yeah. So very cute. Oh yeah, and he is a bank. So let's look at yeah. the, let's Here's see the how that works. Here's the slot we can put the money in. Yeah, so he's got a nice, yeah, looks looks good. Got a slot to put in coins. Yep. And then at the bottom. This is where you would take the uh, coin, uh, uh, take this out, and then you can get your money, ba money back out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's right now, as of now, November 2019, he's, he's, he's was just recently released, and it's kind of hard to find online. But there are some sellers out there. Um, so you may want to try your local comic book shop. Um, I was fortunate to be able to find one at, uh, <clears throat> at Newberry Comics. So let's bring out the Funko Pop. Yeah, so you can see the um, the new monogram bank is about eight inches tall, uh, whereas the Funko is a little bit around six inches. The texture from the Funko Pop does translate, um, you know, not not identical, but very closely uh, on the monogram bank. Um, yeah, they both have like yeah, very similar texture on the yep. skin. Not exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, and they're different colors. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it looks like the Funko is more, or the green. So this is the standard Funko. Yep. But there are differences, like the, I mean, the tail is kind of curved the same way, but the spikes are definitely very different. Yeah. Um, the, the Funko one is... Um, yeah, bumpy. It's very bumpy. Uh, yeah, a lot whereas, smaller. Yep, a lot smaller, whereas the um, monogram bank is very, um, kind of like a flat, flat gray. Yeah, uh, smooth, very, very simple. Very smooth. Yeah, but I think the way they did the the way Monogram did it, it, it really adds to like the the chibi cute style. I think they did it, uh, an excellent job. Yeah, I think here you can see that the uh, tails have a very similar pose. They're both curved, curved mm -hmm. in the same way. Yep. So if we look at the Funko Pop, he's just a black pupil. I think that's just the style of Funko Pop. Um, I really like the way Monogram did the eyes. Like you do get the. The, uh, the, in this case, I guess three tone color. Um, you have the big yellow, the the you know big eye, big eyes first of all. Whereas the Funko one is kind of just the small eyes. Uh, so you get big eyes. Um, it's, it has the main yellow color, and then followed by the black pupil, and then that white spot, the white reflection uh, from the light. Yeah, because actually on the Funko, it's it's, uh, it's just pure black. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's actually shiny enough that we're actually getting yeah. like a catch light. Yeah. Here, like the eyes are just black, but mm -hmm. we've got a light shining on it, so you can actually see a white, white catch light. Yep. On uh, on the Funko eye right now. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So the teeth on the uh, monogram bank are just um, like eggshell white, um, and same with the claws and the uh, uh, the toes. Whereas the Funko Pop, it's kind of more like um, kind of like a more yellowish cream white. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I believe it carries over to the claws and the toes yep. as well. It yep. looks like the same paint. You see the the mouth is uh, surrounded by red gums. Correct. And plus there is like a red tongue in red there. Red tongue and, inside. But but can't, the mouth, can't see it very well. Yeah, his mouth is not really opened. But here there's uh, yeah there's no uh, red gums, mm -hmm. but there is like a definite uh, pink pink tongue there. Yep. I I don't know. I I think monogram is the winner here. If if you had to choose one or the other. No, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's interesting that the bodies are about, or at least in height, the bodies are about the same height. Yeah. But the head, it's the head, the monogram head is like twice, at least twice as bit, twice as tall, and mm -hmm. just in volume is like so much more huge. Yeah. So making it, yeah, I think much cuter. 
Yeah. Yeah, the head. Yeah, it's a huge difference in the head because if you just look at like the shoulders, like the shoulders are about the same height. Yeah, you're interestingly right. Interestingly enough. Mm-hmm. But he's so he's like, uh, but he's much like more uh, wider. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. The monogram is much wider. Yeah. But uh, and a much bigger head. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, yeah, it's all it's it's all adding up to making him very cute. Yeah, I think that you know it translates very well with the big head. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no articulation on either of these. And so. monogram is a bank, so zero articulation. So here we have the um, Godzilla 2000 uh, bank by Toyota. Uh, the car the car dealership you would get this Godzilla bank I, I think as a gift if you bought a Toyota back then yeah. um, so it's also a bank as you can see there's like a coin slot here and also down below is where you can get take your money out yeah. um, so very similar in size but the style is a little different um, he's a little bit more uh, non s like super deformed he doesn't have like a big head um, but s s size wise is about the same uh, you do see the big feet here uh, but he's different this is the 2000 Godzilla whereas this is like a, a kind of super deformed Heisei Godzilla uh, so we can move this one out to the side here oh yeah he's nice yeah 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 he's, he's uh, got a great profile here yeah I think the profile is very cute uh, different different style of cuteness though. He's a little more like uh, a little bit more realistic, and then and then the cuteness uh, added to it. Yeah. Um, whereas this one is just hundred percent cute. Um, so as you see, Godzilla two thousand does have the purple spines, um, similar to the monogram. Um, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. The Toyota does have like a kind of glossier, um, like flat flat yet glossy uh, type of spines. Oh yeah, and very smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Not much texture there. Um, instead of a curved tail, the Toyota uh, Godzilla does have a, a tail kind of uh, going angled up. Yep, and yep. then... It's very green. Yeah, very green, whereas Which, Monogram is gray. Yeah, since like Godzilla, Godzilla 2000 is green. Yep. Yeah, he might be the 2001. I'm not 100% sure, but... I think it's Godzilla 2000. Yeah. Looks more like the green from 2001. Yeah. But anyways, like you have the uh, kind of more like the creamy white um, on the eyes and the teeth, as well as the claws and the toes. Oh yeah, and here too, they did put a little white in the eye. They did, yeah. Like a, but here it does look more like a normal off, catch light. Yeah, it, off to the side. Yeah, because it's off center. Yeah. 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 So again, that white, that white that you're looking at, it's not my, uh, it's not our lights. It's actually painted in there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but yeah, and the teeth are a little, uh, yeah, a little, uh, little yellow. Yep. Yeah, and Godzilla needs to do some brushing. He does have like a, yeah, red, you know, pink tongue, red so, mouth. Yeah, so uh, here, instead of the red lipstick from the Funko Pop, uh, they put the red in into the mouth, yeah. um, and then they made the tongue pink. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so this is, yeah, I think this is a good, yeah, good paint on the mouth there. Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job for what it is. It's, yeah, I like the way they painted the eyes, too. Yeah. And then in the monogram, it's just a uh, just flat pink um, tongue and mouth. So yeah, which goes but with the cuteness. It does. Yeah, yep. I think I think they you know what monogram did is an excellent job. Uh, both have big feet, um, very sturdy. Both uh, both of them they won't really fall over unless you actually hit it. Um, okay. I think they're you know pretty good. So people so people that like this. Uh... Toyota Bank. So what, what? When did that come out? And is, is it hard, very hard to find now? Um, 1999. Oh, so, so back when the movie came out. When the movie came out. Um, so I think it was he was pretty rare. I didn't know that this one existed till um, maybe two or three years ago. Um, and then when I did find about it, it looked like it was pretty hard to find. I saw one on eBay, but I didn't go for it. And I went to Japan, and surprisingly, there was one at uh, one of those collectible shops called Mandarake and I figured oh this is this should be pretty rare so I went and, and grabbed them excellent yeah yeah so it's but yeah they would look for I assume people would look for like Godzilla Toyota Bank one little odd d detail I'm noticing here is that they sort of they they kind of didn't give him a space between his feet ah yes I think that's just kind of them being lazy there yeah 
they yeah, kind of sort of between between his feet it just these and his more, tail more godzilla and, and his tail too yeah i see what you mean <laughs> I actually didn't notice that till you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, which is okay. Which is okay, but I think it's 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 you know not normal. From, yeah, it's different from the movie. Yep, <laughs> it it's more like Biolanti if you think of it that way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Even the the front, it's connected. Yeah, but yeah, but I think it goes like along with the fact that it's a bank. Yep. Because they had to sort of, how did they do it with Monogram do it here? They just put the feet close together. They did, yeah. It's the same, because it's the same issue. You gotta, you want to store coins in. Yeah. So you gotta have a, so you can't have it like be hollow down there, because you gotta get the coins out. Yeah. You know, let's look at it. Yeah, here, I think they, yeah, they put the feet closer together. Yeah. I think Monogram did a better job. Um, definitely yeah. having the feet together uh, gives that nice illusion. Whereas this is, um, now that you pointed it out, it's actually very, I, I think it's uh, distracting. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. mostly, yeah, mostly when you'd look at it, I mean, you look at the face. From the front. Yeah, you look at the face and the claws. You're not looking, you're not looking between, the, you, know, you know, between, between his, his legs. legs. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but now that you mentioned it, I can see it even between the legs and the tail, it does have that. Yeah. And Monogram doesn't really have that issue. I think they did a good job with the sculpt. They kind of ended it. Yeah. Right, right under the tail. So, yeah. Props to monogram. All right. So one other item that we'd like to go over is this Godzilla Deluxe lanyard. Okay. All right. Check this out. Uh, it's about eight dollars. Um, it's made of cloth. As you can see, it has um, on this side. It's just black, and then it has the Japanese text Gojira. And then you'll see. Ooh, You'll see the uh, yeah, there's Godzilla. Yeah, you'll see the 1954 Godzilla Shodai Goji. Uh, very nice uh, image of him. Yeah, uh, nice. just kind it's of like, just uh, just as um, you can only see his head and like the front of his body and his one of his arms. But yeah, it looks like he's destroying in the middle of destroying oh, the city. Oh yeah, you can see a lot of fire. Um, you know, I like how they they chose the color. It's kind of black and white first, and then it kind of blends into this red. Yeah, Looks yeah, like yeah. it's pretty pretty strong. Um, I think stronger than your typical clasp. Um, and then we have this plastic back here. We see all the different uh, Godzilla movies, the Japanese characters. It's kind of chaotic. Like you have, you can see like Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla vs Space Godzilla, Godzilla vs Megalon. I don't think there's any order. Godzilla vs Gigan, Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, there's his Mothra Destroyer. Uh, looks like this is the, what is it, Gabara maybe? Uh, so it's all over the place. It's not in any order. Um, so I think it's a cool design that they they did. Um, I think the the, ti the movie titles are also pretty cool. Yeah, oh yeah. And in the back the same. It kind of starts black to red, and I think it fades to the w black and white, and then back to red. Oh yeah, yeah. And we measured it. It is deluxe in that it's an inch and a half thick. Yeah. Uh, whereas I think a standard lanyard is more like around an inch thick. All right, so this lanyard right now is, um, as of November 2019, it's a little hard to find um, online. I think Amazon might have a few um, available in some of the online um, or, or retailers. Um, just maybe just don't have it in stock yet. So you might uh, have to uh, look a little harder if you'd like to get uh, this lanyard. Um, probably try your comic book stores as well. Um, you might have a have a shot there. Okay, well, I highly recommend these very cute oh, uh, yeah. banks. Yeah, with a, I think it's especially I think with these really big heads. With the really big head, it does look uh, very cute. Mm -hmm. And the lanyard, it's def it definitely is like a deluxe uh, lanyard. Yeah, you know, much better in every way than a standard lanyard. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think the bank is a must. Like this is just too adorable. So we ask that you do subscribe to our yep, YouTube please. channel. That's what that's what we ask uh, from you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So this is Heisenberg and G Forever, hoping you enjoy the uh, Godzilla Cute Bank and the Lantern by Monogram.